What's going on guys? It's your boy Brazil Local up in his building and today I'm bringing you guys another video Only this video is a little bit different because usually, you know, I'll be posting uh, Call of Duty and Pokemon videos up on my channel And today I'm going to be doing a review on this Arctic Army Jacket We've got the real fur, so I can just touch it all day long, oh my goodness Nice Oh, look at that, look, look at the feeling of this jacket. It is immaculate. Yeah, I bought this one for my girlfriend. Obviously, I'm wearing my one right now. Yeah. It's beautiful, it is warm. Oh my days, it is the warmest jacket I've got in my, in my wardrobe right now. Well, not in my wardrobe because it's not in my wardrobe, it's on me right now, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is what the jacket looks like off the body and closed this is what the jacket looks like open as you can tell this really i listen this is so puffy and so warm you have no idea you have no idea how warm that jacket is yet until you put it on guys i'm telling you for free See this hood right here yeah this this real raccoon fur this real yeah real from saga furs yeah do your research on saga furs if you don't know who they are or what they do and that kind of all of that stuff go check them out um yeah man really nice really nice orange badge at first i wasn't really feeling it because orange wasn't really like my my favorite color but can't lie it's grown on me simon and ed um are the founders of this of this company the Arctic Army. Ed Jefferson is a creative director and founder. Uh, Paul, S Simon Paul Waits, I think is his name. The, uh, his partner who founded this. They made a real fantastic jacket, man. I love their, I love their products, man. I love it. I'm obsessed right now. Oh yeah, on the inside as well, it's fleece. So if you're outside, you haven't got gloves on, it's cold. Yeah, just put your hands inside the pockets and keep them really warm. And they're quite, they're, I would say that they're pretty deepish. Yeah. I'll say that they're pretty deepish. Yeah. And that's my pocket. Yeah. And you've got pockets on, you've got two pockets on the inside. You've got one horizontal. Yeah. And then you've got the other vertical. Going down. Oh, little receipt in there. Yeah. Oh, look at my cat saying hello. <laughs> Say hello, socks. Say hello. Hello, mate. Yeah, fantastic jacket. Arctic. Yeah, trying to keep you warm from the Arctic cold, coldness. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Now, let's get to let's get to the serious part now, lads, yeah? Cool, I'm really obsessed with this coat, yeah? And whatnot. Um, but... Could it be better? I would say that maybe one or two things could make this coat a little bit better, yeah? And one thing, it's only it's only personal preference for me, innit? For me, innit? <laughs> you see these? I love it when there's a, a, a hole for the thumb, yeah? You can put your thumb, that, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's good to keep your hands warmer. Gives you an extra bit of warmth on your hands when you're when you're out, um, out and about. To me, that's just a uh, a bonus, really. It feels on there. Um, another thing that I'm not I'm not really the biggest fan of the functionality of the hood. I found a little bit of a of a trick here over here with the hood. Um, you can tighten it and whatnot, and it makes it a little bit of a of a funnel or tunnel hood or whatever they call it. Um, kind of similar to the kind of the goose, just not on the same wavelength. Or how how do I say it? It's not really it's not really the same. In it. Like I'm gonna show you guys after uh, when I put it back on. Uh, this they're both tightened right now. They're both tightened right now, just to give it that look because. If uh if I have it loose, if I have it loose, it will be that the fur just covers up my face too much, a little too much, and like 
I can't really see where I'm walking. And when I have it tightened like this, it still covers my face a lot. Like people can hardly see my face. I think it's just a little bit better when it's when it's tightened like that. When it's not tightened, yeah, it's a it's a shambles, mate. All of the fur gets gets into your face. It gets a bit itchy and that. Yeah, but the way that I have it now is proper. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so like this, I can see. I wouldn't say perfectly, but I'll say that I can see majority of what's what's in front of me. Uh, obviously, I'd have to look left and left and right to, to see what's going on there. If, if I'm crossing the street to see cars or whatnot, but in general, right now, this is so much better than if I was to have these these loose. Can you guys see me properly? Drop down in the comment section if you guys can see me properly or if you guys cannot. <laughs> I really like this look. Um, feel like I'm being eaten alive by a raccoon. I can't lie. <laughs> I love it. In London, I could wear a t-shirt underneath this and still be fine. Like, still be fine. When I wear a hoodie, like I am now, I was wearing a hoodie outside today with this and I was, and I was really, really hot. And uh, I just wanted to take off my hoodie, to be honest, because it was that hot. Superb jacket. I'll give it a, I'll give it a solid. I'll give it a solid nine out of ten. I can't lie. Price, price is fantastic for the quality. Um, also, the zip. Another thing that the zip does. So if you're a big guy like me, obviously I'm a, I'm like what six foot. Well, 5'11", 5'11", 6 foot, whatever you guys. <laughs> yeah, and I weigh 90 kg. I'm a fat boy right now. Um, and I'm wearing a size medium. This is, this is feeling snug, even with a, even with a hoodie on. Um, it's not feeling, it's not feeling too tight. It's not feeling loose. It's just feeling snug. I'm feeling like I'm being hugged right now. And, uh, for me personally, that's how I want to be feeling when when I get into a into a puffer jacket. Anyway, when I get into a parka, I feel like with a parka jacket, I would want to be with a hoodie and like be layered up a little bit more underneath a parka jacket. Whereas with a puffer, I'd I'd prefer being like in a t-shirt or just like a turtleneck or something, something like that uh, when I'm outside. And yeah, so this zip also goes goes up like that. A little bit. Well, I can go actually all the way up. <laughs> like I said, I'm a fat boy, fam. It went all the way up. So yeah, you can also like if you're doing anything like picking up heavy loads or anything like that, or even if you're just getting into a car and you need to sit down, you can do that. Yeah. So nice, little, cool little feature that the zip does, which uh, which I like. I know a lot of people actually like that feature. Um, you can tie it over here at the bottom as well now to keep all of the air, warm air circulating in your body, you know what I'm saying? Um, I wish I was sponsored by these ones. Maybe one day, yeah? Maybe one day. At the end of the month, I'm going to be doing another review on a different jacket. And then I'm going to be updating you guys um, next month when the winter's a little bit harsher here in London. So, yeah. Peace out, guys. Until next time.